realized I was the fastest woman in the world on a motorcycle and I'd broken the land speed record that I was after. Both at the same time, I was just thrilled to death. Uh, I'd just thrown a, a rod through my cases <laughs> at 234 miles an hour and I was screaming with joy. So I was, uh, I was very happy. Everything happens really quickly. Um, really have to keep a keep an eye on all of my data on the dash um, be very careful body position move around to you know achieve the the best aerodynamics possible to get the most speed out of the bike that I can and maintain good control it's not a lot of traction out there on the salt so sometimes that can be a little hair um, right at the end of the timed mile uh, I lost the lost the rod through the cases and um, I immediately pulled in the clutch and pulled it off. So I was, I was lucky that I'd still gotten through most of it and still got an average speed of 234 through that mile. I did run over a large chunk of shrapnel and it banged up the lower part of my, uh, 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 the underneath side of my fender. But all in all, I was really lucky. I didn't have any lockups, issues. Uh, things can get ugly at those speeds, Absolutely. so I considered myself very fortunate. Cool. I knew that it was a uh, pretty ugly situation. My motor had failed, but I was, I was lucky that I didn't have any other, any other issues cool. with the bike. Just, I actually just got back from Baja to get to the banquet. Just flew in uh, this time yesterday. I was in Mexico for the Baja 1000, so mostly just around motorcycles non-stop. Right. This is my big celebration is the banquet.